basically in the face of a government shutdown where people haven't been paid, they haven't been able to come to work and earn a paycheck. The Senate thought it was important to try to end federal funding of abortion, which already does not exist because of the Hyde Amendment since 1976, but it's reauthorized with the budget every year. So they tried, they are trying to make it law. And so that way they don't have to reauthorize it with the budget every year. Here's the thing. They hate abortion so much that they are shutting down the government over it, over a wall to keep people out, to keep families separated, and then moving forward to push anti-abortion legislation. Why? So that they could do it in time for this march that they're having this weekend. Does that seem like our nation's priorities? I don't know about you, but it doesn't to me. And I don't know who the senators think they're listening to, but in the 2016 election and the 2017 election, the overwhelming population voted for pro-choice candidates. We're on the dawn of the 46th anniversary of Roe v. Wade, the Supreme Court decision that recognized the federal constitutional right to abortion. And this one is different because abortion opponents for the first time have what they have sought this entire time, which is a Supreme Court majority that is ready, willing, and able to overturn Roe v. Wade. And so what we need to do and what Repro Action is doing is shining a spotlight on abortion opponents in their own words and uh, the reality that's happening around the country, which is that abortion is already being prosecuted. Abortion bans send people to jail. The so-called pro-life position actually injures and hurts uh, thousands of women. But not only that, it negates the necessity if you have uh, cancer or if you have uh, some disease or if you have uh, just that you want to make a decision about your own health care, to stop that creates more uh, dangerous outcomes. And, and, to, and to criminalize it. I mean, think of this, throwing a woman in jail because she has a miscarriage. Some of these folks want to pass laws that they have a right to investigate every miscarriage. Something like 40% of pregnancies end up in miscarriages. This is criminalizing women. And, and really what it does when you close clinics because of this kind of harassment and hostile legislation, the reality is this is, should be left to medical professionals and individuals to decide their own necessary outcome. Proaction, we intentionally talk about pro-life harm because it's important that people know that the movement that calls itself pro-life is in fact anything but. Reframing the debate. It really has to be understood as health care. And these political male politicians, and, and frankly, when I talked about violence at the clinics, it's principally males, men, who are harassing women. It's a form of sexual harassment, and it's got to end. And as far as the politicians, they're just doing it to make themselves seem moral and pure when they're not.